should I just be counting down in my head? This is probably going to go. Oh, we're live probably right now. So Yeah, probably. I started. I botched the beginning of this, but we're back for another episode of um, One More Round. We got, as always, my boy Mac Tyson here, only LARPing, and the lovely Omira Molina, who's 4 0, I believe, in Karate Combat, correct? Four? Uh, four? Yes, I have four five. Yeah, 4 0 in Karate Combat, and she's going to be fighting for the inaugural Women's Karate Combat Champion uh, Championship belt. Um, December 15th in Las Vegas against Melinda Fabia. Yeah. You want to introduce yourself to the fans, Omira? Yes, of course. Um, hi, guys. Thank you so much for the opportunity. To, um, I'm really happy. Uh, so um, my name is Omira. I am from Venezuela. Um, I live now in New Jersey. Uh, and yes, I'm, I'm, I am professional in, in karate for more than 25 years. So now I'm um, be preparing for the fight December 15th in Las Vegas uh, for the World Championship. Uh... Let's go. Um, <laughs> Mac, Mac Tyson, you got um, – I always think it's funny when, you know, I have fighters introduce themselves. Mac is better at introducing fighters <laughs> because you guys, you guys aren't – you know, you're uh, humble. You don't want to <laughs> brag. Mac Tyson will – give us the rattle off here, Mac. Let's go. Who's Omira Molina? Omar Molina is La Guerrera, uh, the warrior. She is the number one pound for pound female fighters in the official rankings currently. She's 4 0 in karate combat. Uh, before transitioning to karate combat, she was a Pan American champion in Olympic style karate. She's been training since she was a little. Her father and uncle, but uh, sometimes the toughest coach was her mama. Yeah, I mean, and one thing that like was amazing was uh, I think it was back in season three of Karate Combat. She had this uh, beautiful knock Yakosuke knockout using Sen no Sen timing, Sen no Sen timing, and it was just like the Yak the Yakosuke like the reverse punch is like something that every single karateka learns on their very first day. And everyone always thinks that, like, oh, this punch doesn't work. Oh, it's uh, kind of BS. But Omada Molina literally did the punch exactly how it's taught, how it's preached to work, and got a beautiful knockout, Kia and all. Yep. That's actually one of my favorite. I'm not just saying this. It's always been one of my, one of my favorite knockouts uh, from Karate Combat just because of how clean it was. Like, Thank you. You just... <laughs> Measure that up perfect, and I'm gonna give you That's one. Like you only need the one. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Uh, when I see the video, I say, wow, it's a like, yeah. yeah. But this no, the adrenaline. More, more, more is the adrenaline in that moment because you know the the my opponent and she's very strong me too. Um, the from Brazil, Erica. So and two uh, opportunity and she go with the uh, me too with the same technique, but I can I can resist the punch. So I say okay. Uh, I wait for the opportunity, and in that moment, uh, um, I catch her. And so I, ha- I know the rules. They have to finish it because the referee knows uh, he, he knows though you have to continue. Sometimes people say, oh, why you continue? It's, it's for the rules. You have just five seconds for finish the, the fight. Mm-hmm. So, yes, uh, and this is a very, very um, good moment in Always, I say, always I respect my opponent, but um, you working sometimes very, very hard, and the, when that happens, you feel wow. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that's the game. Someone's got to go down, so better be your opponent than you. That's for sure. You know, I was, now that we're talking about that punch specifically, and then your last fight, uh, that was a banger. Like <laughs> that, that was a banger. That was a hell of fun fight. Uh, since then. Have you felt the new gloves for Karate Combat? I see the new design. I see uh, it's a little bit different, more tiny in the fingers. But mm-hmm. I know how the the the, um, the new gloves. So usually it's when I be in the in the uh, event, Karate Combat ring to me, and I used that week. But it's okay. almost the same. I know the streets owns. It's very small. It's very tiny. 
I see it for championship is cool. So uh, yeah, it's very nice. I like it. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, word. So <laughs> do you think that's going to? Because that shot you hit Santos with. I mean, in four ounce gloves, that could have done way more damage. And it seems since we switched to the four ounce gloves, there's been more finishes. That's been for sure. The opening fight of the last card, uh, the women's fight. I mean, that was one of the bloodiest fights we've seen in karate combat. And that was a one round fight. So any, yeah. are you concerned or excited? Or are you kind of just like, well, it doesn't matter. Me? Mm-hmm. Okay, and when you said, can you repeat that part? Because like, are you, are you like, do you care at all that like, do you, are you pumped? You want to hit people harder? Like when I showed one of, uh, actually the new, the, um, Mirza, Mirza Beck, when I showed him the gloves before he, he used them, I asked him what he'd think about them and he was pumped. He's like, I want to hit people with these cause it's going to hurt them more. Like, so he was excited. <laughs> so, and then other people told me, eh, I don't really care. It's whatever. Wh where do you, are you, are you pumped? You feel like you're going to do more damage with them or what? Yeah, definitely. It's very dangerous because uh, you can train it with gloves, the boxing or something like this, but the, the, or the karate gloves, but that one is, feel the, the, the right hand or the hook or anything or the jab in, in your face. So you have to be very smart, very uh, sharp, you know, you have to not go uh, crazy, but that, that gloves, you, you have to, you can count it very well. So or also it's very small, so you have to be uh, very, um, uh, look in the specific uh, moment, no? Um, the good way that that gloves you can grill, you know, you can turn down, you can use a little bit. You know, usually all the gloves uh, or it's it's close. You can all clinch, you know. That one have the possibility for for that. Um, but um, yes, I feel that sometimes people like it punch when it's and the opportunity is that you can. Or score <laughs> you three punches continue with that gloves you can definitely the other person a uh, lot of pain in the face <laughs> hell yeah i mean i wonder what that what your last fight would have looked like in four ounce club i'm pumped for this i'm pumped you know what what do you okay so melinda fabian is obviously from the ufc so it's a pretty big name you know it's, that's yeah. really cool you know fight someone that that fought all the way up to the ufc you know what are your thoughts like you like her you don't like her you don't care She's just an object in the way. Like, what's going on? What, what do you want to say about her? Um, really, um, I, I know who is her. I know that she coming to the U.S. female fighter uh, from Hungary. And um, me too. I'm I'm twenty four all my life. Martial arts, school for family. Uh, my father, my uncle, uh, teaches the karate, sensei. Uh, um. My opponent, but really training hard for this moment. Uh, I feel prepared for my teammate in strategy in New Jersey. I had good uh, teammate, good coaches, and and training different drills. So the rules, the karate combat, um, is karate martial arts. I include a little bit open cars and knee, but uh, I can mix around my my drills. So whatever happened in the in that uh, fight. The person the more prepared is the winner. Very well, very uh, training so hard and ready for the fight. So, I don't. It's not. Maybe it. It might be a generic question, but it's an important one. I think. I mean, gotta ask this: What does it mean to you uh, if you become the first ever, you know, karate combat cha women's champion? I mean, that's our version of like a Ronda Rousey almost. What does that mean? Is it special to you? Well, For small me. correction. Small, small correction. Uh, first, first bantamweight champion. Uh, last fight, uh, Stephanie Oliveira became the first female champion. Yeah, she she fought with uh, Christina. So I'm fired. Um, I'm fired. How did I do that? I'm literally <laughs> fired, bro. I was right there. I was at the event. I worked the event. Whoa, bro. Okay, you know yeah, what? We said they, inaugural so many times. All right, forgive me. You, the second, the first, Bantamweight. Let's go. Ba bantamweight, the first one. Uh, I yeah. stand for that weight. Uh, yes, it's very, uh, it, it's very important for me, and especially is represent, represent my, my family, my, my, my country, my, uh, my teammate, and it's my, my goal. Yeah, I, it's my dream. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really um, excited about Karate Comba And mm -hmm. I say, yes, of course, this is my dream. So, 
and I'm prepared for that. Do you have a lot of support uh, back home, you know, or like, are you close still back there? Do you, you know, if you won the title, are you going back there and having a huge party? You know, Me, like you have a big, big fan base back in Venezuela. And so when you see big fan, the people, the, the, the curate. Yeah. Like watching on TV at the bar and stuff. Yeah. Like you got, you got a big party back there watching you fight. Like you got friends, family back home, still supporting oh. you and everything. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. You know, um, I live in Panama five years and now I live one year in New York. I live now two years in New Jersey and live in Venezuela and I compete for 15 years and, and, uh, for the national team. So I, I know people from America, Europe, so it's it's a little mix around. So people, the all the countries sometimes text me, all the national, the people continue federation karate. Oh my, congrats! I I, I want to see you. Uh, my my blessings for you. You know, my family, my my is very fanatic people with the karate. They are know me one and a half years, and now uh, I have the opportunity for the world champion bill. And the family of my fiance is from Key USA. They are so excited for that moment and really support me a lot. And my school is almost 100 people. It's the student, everybody. Uh, oh, I want to see the fight. You have any teacher? They say La Guerrera. People, I like it. I mean, it's very nice, you know, because you feel the connection, you feel the, the good energy. and. I'm really uh, lucky to have that people with me. <laughs> awesome. No, that's, that's, that's great to hear. That's awesome. So a citizen yeah. of the world, truly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mac, you got any, you know, I know you, the way you, you work, bro. You know all the little intricacies and stuff. You, what, what questions you got cooking up? Uh, well, I think uh, it, when you say citizen of the world, it is interesting, like uh, her travel to the U.S. because – she, she didn't go immediately to New Jersey. She went to Panama, and then New York, and then New Jersey. And in Panama, she was actually on uh, a TV show, uh, Calle Siete, I believe. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> right, talk, 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 talk a little bit about that and how that came yeah. to be and what your experience on the show was like. Yeah, um, um, when I live in Panama, uh, I have one opportunity for casting. They say, oh, you are very athletic. You are a professional athlete. You can. So I tried the first day, and I, uh, the people the TV show like it. So I'm working for one year and a half in one reality show. They had different, uh, you know, activity and competition. A lot of pressure on TV, some two hours, Monday to Friday. But I really enjoy, and it's something different. Like uh, children, people, fans uh, follow for the TV show. You know, it's in life every day. Uh, the TV is good connection uh, with people. But after the pandemic, the, the, the reality show have to uh, close. And in that moment, I make a decision for go to USA and, and stay here for, for a sport, for continue with my career. And now I'm, I'm happy to stay here. <laughs> Oh, I was like, but I'm, was... I'm sorry, I forgot that I go to New York and New York and training with my coach in that moment. And f for different situations, uh, I'm changed for New Jersey, you know. And now I'm, I'm good in my new school, and the support is amazing. The people, and that's the the first connection. They say, okay, I, I stay here because when you go one place, you know, you say, mm, not for me. So I feel that with that school, my coach, he's from Brazil. He's professional uh, MMA and Kim Watson uh, coach. And my coach, the MMA, the MMA Nestor, is my two corner for the fight. They are going with me in this fight. Um, and I have a boxing club, uh, uh, Golden Globe professional uh, coach. And it's, it's a good team. <laughs> so um I feel really happy in that school and, and, and the opportunity to stay with our family. And, and my family knows, knows, knows with me right now, but uh, always I have my family and my mind and my heart for motivation and, and can keep into it. For Latinos, being close to family is always very important to us. Like we always want to have a lot of family. Yeah. Like usually a lot of times when uh, Latino 
moves to another part of the country, uh, the whole family comes along with them. So how tough is that for you to be so far away from your family? Yeah, uh, making a decision to leave to Venezuela is it, very hard because I'm very close with my dad. Most, my father have to school the karate in Venezuela, and I am the person that opened the school and everything every day. So I started in all the country, you know, in, in now in USA, I never speak in English. So I have to start practicing English. And I, 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 the first time I only say hi, hello, bye, I'm hungry. <laughs> so now every day I try to, you know, understand more. And uh, I come in alone. I don't have family here. It's just me. And, and you know, it's, it's tough, but no impossible. Uh, thank you, God. I have uh, good people, the connection. And, and But my family is my, my, my motivation. Always I call my father. He last month is very sick, and that you know, you you feel wow. This is you you scary. You know, when you live in all the country, you can stay there and say wow. So thank you, God. He's much better. But my father is one person. They always support me. My own. I have the situation with my brother. He passed away with cancer. But ten years ago, he have a cancer. He, I fight so hard for that. In um he he passed away but always i had him in my mind the how that young guy fought too much for his life and he changed my life for forever and i understand the most important is you have life you safe you can try you nothing is impossible you just continue and and the goals continue and uh, how you say uh, much better you know you you never stop when you have one dream you can can can, uh, can do it yeah, yeah. Uh, pick yourself up and keep going no matter what. Yeah, that, that, that point, uh, I, uh, a lot of people might that are listening to this might not be aware. So if you don't want to go more into it, I understand. But uh, no. the name La Guerrera that came from uh, watching your little brother uh, struggle with his health. Could you go a little bit more into what was going yeah. on there what it, and what your brother meant to you? Yeah, my, um, the name La Guerrera coming because, and you know, when I signed with Karate Combat, and say, hey, what name do you want to use? No, only Omar. So I said, oh, okay. My life is is, is very, no, no say difficult, but it's tough. So I have to fight, I have to go and go northern, you know, have my family. And say, I am the warrior. I have to, you know, I feel the warrior. And they say, you know, La Guerrera. Because I feel that uh, every every girl have or every person have something when you have to fight and you and you continue you know say oh I cannot continue you are worried you are one person that you can uh, continue fight for that the, that that is me my personality worried person and whatever goal I I, I keep in focus for complete that uh, no, you made that clear in your last fight yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> the last five the extra round and he said okay let's have a coach yeah we're just yeah. Uh, you we're just keyboard warriors over here <laughs> speak for yourself bro <laughs> I, I can throw down bro i'm like seven and oh and one half in walmart parking lot fights bro back up i mean i've, I've, I've been tra- i've been training since i was a kid <laughs> ah. all right Mac. All it's right, gonna be mac right. versus mac loser changes their name that would be sick that, that'd be a sick IFC fight. It would. I'm pretty ruthless, man. I, I'm <laughs> telling you about my, my teep kick, bro. Watch out for it. All right. Oh, my God. Uh, Pe- people have been kicking the shit out of Mac Malley on Twitter for the last weekend. I'll, I'll use some Bunkai from Hey on Showdown against that teep kick. You? <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, him. Oh, what, oh, you really got a brain in Yeah. Okay. All right. So he... uh. Yeah, he like angered the Twitter gods this week. So we, yeah, let's get her opinion on. It. Fuck it. All right, I'll explain. I'll explain. Did you see the? Do you know Jamal Hill, the UFC champion? I think so. Yes. Okay. I am well, a woman. So he was. I am a woman. I am a Amanda. I am a, you know, Veronica. The chief from Venezuela fight tomorrow. Uh, today, you know, I'm asking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, but I know men like it. They, they, yeah. you know, they, I like it. Jump Jones. I like it. Um, you know, I had a couple of fans. Uh, uh, I, I'm very fans of a couple. 
men's um, and I, I like it depends like the woman's uh, fighter so well my favorite okay, fighter of all time is Joanna yeah okay so what happened is so you saw his two Mac you, you we all know the story, kind of. Essentially, what happened is he got arrested for domestic violence. And um, TMZ tweeted out the news broke from just a tweet that said arrested for domestic violence. That was all it said. Then a link to the thing. So, you know, 90. I tweeted out, you go read the article, and it turns out he got in a fight with his brother at like 1 a.m. Wow. Like, okay, that's not good, but. 90% of the people reading that probably assumed that, that said uh, you know, well that meant he hit a woman. You put a popular like sports athlete mugshot with nothing besides got arrested for domestic violence. So I essentially came out and saying that that was bullshit for TMZ to do and that that's clickbait. Is that what we're getting at only LARPing? That's I think so. Talking about. I'm on your right. side. I think and I think yeah. it cheapens like real domestic violence. If you get in a fight with your brother, I mean, my my kids they hit each other all day. My pinky does not. <laughs> my pinky doesn't bend past that knuckle. It literally does not work. It hasn't in twenty years because my brother tried to fucking stab me, dude. Like I had to get the knife from him and then I fucked him up. Guess oh. who didn't get called? The cops. Please. And then guess TMZ didn't fucking post shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. But but for real, yeah. Um. I think it's bullshit. I think that's absolute bullshit to get upset at me about that just because of the definition of domestic violence. So I don't know who's watching this from MMA Twitter, but I stand by it. Fuck you. You guys don't win. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get a Twitter. You need to get a Twitter. Yeah. It's a, it's a funny community. Oh my goodness. But yeah, what? I don't know. Um, I so I guess my overall point would be this: if we could be clear to the community. I understand the definition of domestic violence does not mean necessarily a woman. My point was that it implies that when you post no context. Uh, that doesn't mean that <laughs> domestic violence is okay either way, but I will stand on, I'll die on this fucking hill. Hitting your wife or your girlfriend is a completely different level of severity than getting a fight with your fucking brother. I don't care if they're adults. That's fucked. They're different. They're fucking different. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit different. When you punch in one girl, that is domestic. But yeah. I've never seen, like, a, you know, someone get canceled for fighting their brother. Can you imagine, bro? <laughs> like, can you, can you fucking imagine? Like, yeah, bro, what? The, the, CEO of, the CEO of Karate Combat had to step down. Why? <laughs> oh, dude, has he gotten a fight with his brother at Thanksgiving? <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> Domestic violence, bro? Yeah. No one fucking says that. That's clown shoes. That, so Someone's that was the story. What? It's stupid, yeah. So I got flamed yesterday. Can't, but look, not guys, Myra's though. on my side. Not I think we're all on your side. I do a podcast with Mike Perry. You can't cancel me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess we're all on the same page. Mac, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We'll that was half-hearted, but... I think he just do it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's next on the list? Do you want to? Um, do you know? Oh, oh, Myra, this is gonna this sound crazy, but we were chatting about this before we started. Do you think okay. we landed on the moon? Move, make it what? Do you think we landed <laughs> on the moon? I don't know. <laughs> There's no correct answer. I mean, some people would tell you there is, but do you think we went to the, to the moon? Yeah or no? There's no right answer. It's not a setup. Do you think it was faked, or do you think we actually went there? I feel that in, in this moment, yes. When the past, no. The first time, it's fake. Okay. All right. That's interesting you say that. Only LARPing. What do you think? I, I, don't, I don't really... Yes, I think we definitely went there. It's, so, it's, it's not that far. It's attainable. It's not far. What are you talking about? <laughs> in the 60s, far. it's kind of far, bro. But maybe relatively not, speaking. No, relatively speaking, though. You can see it. You look out the window. It's right there. Oh, 
all you could, like, is right there. It's right I, there. I could, you could look, you could look just, at a telescope. You could see what's going on. <laughs> what a scientific argument, bro. I can just see only LARPing in the 60s sitting there like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Yeah, we got to get to the moon before the Russians. And they're like, how are we supposed to get there? And only LARP goes, what do you mean? It's right there. <laughs> like, it's just, dude, it's right there. I can see it. What the fuck? New clothes, but no. Yeah, it looks close. Yeah, I like that optimism though, only LARPing. But yeah. I'm not sure we went there. I'm not sure we went there. I, I'm just not. Convinced. We're going back in two weeks. At hey, Karate oh, Combat that's... 43, we're doing a moon background. That's oh. a sick twist plug. That's fu- I didn't even make that connection. Great, good work. Yeah, the, it, it, it should look cool. I think it will. How many people are we gonna have in the event? I think the audience is like 1,500 people. Yeah, I think that's what I actually heard. Now I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be loud in there, and we set it up a little bit more, um, a little bit more auditorium like, so it should be loud in there. Hell yeah. Um, what what else do we have to cover real quick? Oh, Myra, you ever fought in Las Vegas before? Um, just for Premier League for the national team. I compete in the Paris Hotel and Capitan. Uh, but mm. nothing for five or something like this. And this is my first time. When people tell me, oh, my, uh, the possibility of Karate Combat in Las Vegas, I say, okay, I want to be there. <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, the first time they say Hollywood, and they say, oh, I want to stay there. <laughs> and now, you know, I, I feel excited. That it's, it's different place, and also everybody knows Las Vegas. And the 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 so many fighters that I see uh, pro and, and it's, it's very very nice experience and moment so I'm really I'm really happy that they stay there. <laughs> yeah, I'd say like out of what you hear from most fighters is like their two favorite places are uh, like dream places to fight. MSG is probably first, Madison Square Garden, yeah. and then just somewhere in Las Vegas, you know, because yeah. fight capital of the world. So that's cool. Yeah, you get to. 4 and 0 going to go on 5 and 0 or attempt to for a title in Las Vegas. That's pretty dope. That's pretty yeah. Cool. Um, go ahead. Dominicana, I see it's nice. Mm-hmm. I like it, but uh, I feel that Las Vegas is is, is something totally different. It's it's very good place. Uh, and uh, and I see the this big big event <laughs> for close the year for karate. This combat. is good. This is going to be a it's huge our Super event. Bowl. You know, yeah, this is our Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anthony yeah, the... Pettis. Anthony Pettis was actually telling on quite a few interviews that, like, a lot of MMA fight fans don't really know this, but, like, Vegas is a very difficult place to host a fight. In. Oh, it's impossible, so, man. So just by Karate Combat doing this event in Las Vegas, it's a statement to the entire fight world that. Cry Combat's ready for the big leagues. Oh, yeah, that's incredibly validating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think we were the only, the like, the 93rd fight promotion in the history of Las Vegas to be sanctioned there. Someone told me the same stat. It was yeah. under 100, and I was like, it, I feel like it was even lower than that. Yeah. But I was, like, shocked. Yeah. Probably, that's really special. How is the weather now in Las Vegas? It's, it's chilly, oh, yeah. I was going to get to that because when you brought up Dominican, I love that place, but I do not do humidity. It kills me. I, I, look at me. I'm a Viking, bro. Yeah, it kills me out there. So I had to cut my hair off. Had to wear a sleeveless Hulu shirt or ho- what is it called? Hulu shirts. You know the flowers and shit. Now I get to dress like myself and do my thing. I'm from the desert. It gets cold as shit. All right, so it's gonna be cold. So bring you know pants, jackets, so you say- but not not like here though. Not like here. It's yeah, we're talking no. like what, like at night it's 50, like fifty, but during the day a 40. little bit warmer. It'll get mm-hmm. down to maybe forty. Yeah, it gets it, yeah. it's pretty cold. But uh, yeah. yeah. The, 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 so the the thing the the weather is a little bit cold for you uh, for uh, next week and two weeks. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be uh kind of chilly, like right around uh, a little bit windy. Yeah, I think sixty five during the day probably. Ah, I should check right now. Sometimes Las Vegas mm. is very hot, so it, and that will happen more in, in summer. I stayed yeah, two time, four times in Las Vegas, and one time it's very hot, the second time so hot, and the third time I said, okay, I know, I know keeping sweater in my, in my 
and my pocketbook and I go in Las Vegas and it's not windy and it, oh my goodness so it's the chain and it's a little bit strange the, the... so I don't know how this moment so this is because a little bit curious uh, for that question well it's so it's 61 right now high today yeah so right right around there so uh, like a hoodie <laughs> and, and just pants you'd be fine um shit I had something funny to say now I forget what it was It'll come back. <laughs> what else we got? It'll come right back. Uh, we probably got what, like ten more minutes? You got ten more minutes, Omira? Yeah, it's my right. day. I need this morning, so now I'm off. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do today? Just watch? Are you gonna watch the UFC fights? Oh yes, of course. I went to watch and... it. Veronica, no Veronica. She's with my country from Venezuela. M yeah, Mercado. Be huh? I think she fought. She, she already fought. I think. I think she oh, fought no. first. You yeah, sure? let me see here. Yes, Didn't I'm pretty finish? sure she was first. Spoiler alert. Let me see. Yeah, <laughs> Do you, I don't have to tell you who won, but I'm almost positive she fought. I think she was the first fight. She's won 24 pounds. Yeah, and she she married Dan Hardy, I believe. Mm -hmm. Are they still married? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, where is this UFC? Oh. But the only a little bit curious is for that event in Las Vegas. Is only one girl fighter? Yeah, only one female fight on this card. Oh my god, I need girls. <laughs> what do you? What is that like? Is that cool or not cool? What do you? What do you feel about that? I'm curious. The, like, would you the, prefer? Are you? Are you pumped being the only women's fight, or would you prefer? I like to be it more when I have. I like it when I have girls. You know, because it's it's promote. And, and, but uh, something I cannot. <laughs> But make a decision, no. But uh, um, the last fight in in Hollywood last year, I had mm -hmm. my fight, and all the fight the girls, so it's two fight the women. And so I see cool. in Dominicana, like I see the girl the from China with the Peru yeah. and Brazil versus Greece yeah. for the for, for the bus. So I see, oh, this is great, it's two girls in this uh, event. And I see my, the Las Vegas, and I say, okay. I know what you know. What is the other? You know, usually it's two. <laughs> so this well, one. It's, it's cool you say that now. Now's a good time to say it because then now if we do a card next time, one of us can just say, "Oh, Omira likes to fight." You know, more women on the card. Let's get some women fights on this card. There you go, it's Mac nice. Tyson. Take have, notes. Give the <laughs> well, I'm sure also for her, like with her becoming, if she wins the belt and becomes the champion, like she wants a healthy division to stay hungry in the gym if there's not a line of contenders in her division mm -hmm. it's hard to wake up every morning and get uh, pumped uh, training because there's no target on your back that's yeah absolutely ross is kind of dealing with that yeah that kind of takes us to um is there anyone else you got your eye on like if you beat uh melinda is there anyone that you don't like you know you're like i want to beat her up specifically you don't. I don't I'm think very, you have one, but I'm curious. Yeah, I know how the personality is. Say, hey, you, because I know, you know, I know people have the attitude. And I respect everybody. But mm -hmm. when Taratikova tell me you want to fight with Melinda, I say yes. So, so I wait that she have one second fight. She had a fight with Erica, and say okay, it's good because you know I have four fights, so it's good they have two for you know for matches and this is the opportunity. Sometimes people have just one and want to go for the belt and say okay, maybe you can. So she fight one time more, and I say, okay, let's go. You know, it's it's nice because it's it's great, and and sometimes it's difficult to find people in in the, in my category. So, uh, I take you the opportunity for for fight with Belinda. For next, uh, something happen. I don't know who who can fight or have to wait for other person fight. You know, the, everything changes. Everything can. <laughs> so it's difficult it as talking it comes. about. Yeah, so it'll just yeah. Whoever whoever shows up in front of you, you'll take. Are there any uh, female karate athletes from like uh, the WKF that you think would do well in karate combat? Me and WKF? No, no, no. Start... Like any uh, any female karate athletes like that currently I compete. I have a couple friends the that they text me and they say, "Oh my, I want to fight karate combat the the national team." And you know, I know, I know the the how is the process. You have to connect with people, the karate combat yeah. for looking the opportunity. So I explain, hey, you have to send this email, this information, and people for, in my 
cool. I have girls, two girls, and and 115 pounds and 120 something. They, 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 they are one to fight. So I say, okay, uh, it's something that, that you can have to fight and make it a connection with karate combat. But for for girl, I see couples girls the the WK uh, World Karate Federation they want to fight in karate combat. But, put them in put them in contact with me because getting more female fighters is something I'm pushing very hard. Oh, the Riz God Mac Tyson over here. I know what you're <laughs> there doing. There we go. No. <laughs> okay. hey, wait. Do you want to know whether or not Veronica won? She did fight already. Do you want me to oh. tell you, or do you want to go watch it and see for yourself? She win? Yeah. She won. <laughs> I won't tell you how. You can go back and figure that out for yourself. But um security yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You say, okay, yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's, 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 I have to see if they fight after. <laughs> yeah. She's, Sometimes she's I like good. it watching one championship. This is the name. The King Box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it watching that. I like it. I like it, the, the, the little bit meets martial arts, you know, sometimes it's only kimboxing, only boxing, only jujitsu, and I see it, I say, oh, this nice show. But uh, you see me too, of course, karate combat is my first. <laughs> but, no, of uh, but, you know, I'm very fan the the, the but I have one friend that she is in my school. Chief I B K B K F. What, what is the name? B K B K F C. Bare knuckles. BK, BKFC, BK, uh-huh. Chief I twice uh-huh. and she win for Kyo and you know and I say wow I'm is is that is very tough and then people know use nothing and broke everything but um, yeah I really fun the the martial and sometimes my fiance say hey, what do you want to watch today oh, today Saturday fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of us. Let's go. That's story. funny. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I'm yeah. surprised by that. You don't strike me as the type sitting there like, yeah, beat the shit out of her watching bare knuckle. I mean, you don't even like to call out people. You're like, whoever, I'll fight whoever. But it's, it's funny to me. You like four ounce Muay Thai from one. You like bare knuckle. Yeah, you're brutal. Let's go. That makes sense, though. That's dope. What else we got, boys? I think well, we pretty much all the bare knuckle point. Time. Wait, go ahead. Yeah, finish that real quick. On the bare knuckle point, I think it should be mentioned that there are two BK, former BKFC fighters yeah. on the card. We yeah. got Gogo Slaveski, the former BKFC champion, who actually has a karate background. That was a lot of controversy behind him when it was announced that he'd be fighting because they said, oh, he's not a karateka. But no, he actually uh, used to train Kyokushin karate as a kid. Mm. That's what they say about like Sam too. There, when Sam came to, to Karate Combat, people were like the fuck Sam Alvey. Love you, Sam. If you watch this, uh, I asked him myself. I was like, bro, do you do you do karate or what? He's like, bro, I, that was like my original shit. I was like, so you abandoned that big time, like, because he didn't use karate for shit. He boxed and like counter wrestled throughout yeah. UFC, but he had a karate background as well. Sometimes people start That's karate and, and continue in different, you know, martial arts for be mm-hmm. more prepared for maybe USC or something like this. I understand a couple of people they start karate, black belt, and continue in all the martial arts. So absolutely. Who, who's, then the uh, other fighter is Freddie Masabo, who uh, yeah. he's actually like he did a little MMA before, but besides that, he's just a pure Cuban boxer. So I think that's an interesting topic to talk to Amida because that is like a controversial topic within uh, the fan base is that some people want karate combat to just stay pure karate. Some people want it to be open uh, up and just be more of a striking league while some, a lot, there's also a section of the fan base that they just want uh, the karate combat to be like focused on like karate and traditional martial arts like Kung Fu and Taekwondo, but are a little bit more flexible with other styles. Where, uh, Amada, where do you stand Do you uh, about like other martial arts competing in karate combat? Um, I understand that the, the karate combat opened the opportunity for all the professional fighters because, you know, uh, that person has to uh, understand the rules, the karate combat, you know? For more that you are jujitsu, you cannot grappling, you cannot. So 
or for more that you are maybe wrestling, you can know up because this is the rules they gotta become. But so that person have to adaptation for that fight, and you know, and and it's hard me too when somebody uh, have to uh, uh, stay with with that specific rules and usually person training karate in the past. So it, that person be pro, uh, professional in two different martial arts, karate and maybe judo. And and, and I'm very, I understand the, the give the opportunity because I have that situation right now with my friends, the my teammate. They, they are training karate in the past and now he is professional MMA. He wants to apply for karate combat. He said, oh, you think they have the opportunity? And I said, yes, because you know, you train in karate, but you have to uh, um, understand this rule is, is karate rules. You know, you cannot go this, this, and I explain. And, and I feel that uh, it's nice that the other person have the, the opportunity. Sometimes people karate no want to fight in this professional uh, league. So I understand but, but the, the karate combat have to keep, continue, you know. Um, sometimes I with uh, Karate Combat post one video when I, a little bit, you know, uh, combination, the jab, cross, hook, and people say, this is not Karate. Okay, I understand maybe the upper, but my my, my life is Karate. I am Karate person. <laughs> and, I'm, you know, I I'm, can use one cross or one jab, one double jab. This is this is Karate me too. So you, sometimes people feel confused, but it's, it's a little bit... Um, more, uh, how you say, more technically, you have to uh, introduce in your uh, um, techniques. Yeah. Your... So, yeah, I understand it's good and I respect that. Yeah, there are some karate styles that use hooks and uppercuts, like they have names in Japanese, like a short hook is Kagesuki and uh, the up uppercut is urasuki so these techniques do exist in karate but like not every single karateka grew up training them so that's why there is a lot of that confusion yeah. and i think your point is uh very interesting because uh personally i'm one of those people that wants karate combat to not lose that identity as a uh as a karate league i think those concerns are also a little bit out there i don't think Karate combat is anywhere near to losing that identity. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, in the United States, with our tournament system, it's all open style. They're karate tournaments, but you'll see yep. kung fu people, you'll see taekwondo people, you'll see even kickboxers competing in these tournaments. Yeah. Uh, like, like there's uh, Morgan Plowden who just retired. She's considered like the greatest woman point fighter of all time in like that Raymond Daniels Ross Levine circuit and her style is, even though she competed in sport karate was taekwondo uh, Anthony Pettis his martial arts schools compete in point karate but they're taekwondo schools mm. here's so, what I think about it all oh, wait, go ahead you go ahead Mara. no no I understand you know uh, Karate traditional sometimes is a little bit more, uh, they have different drills, the karate, the WKF, because the WKF have different uh, rules, for example, when you finish, you cannot touch too strong because you pass, you know, you punch too strong, you have monetization. So in traditional in Japan, in Japan, the people continue to compete with just no, no gloves. <laughs> the, you go to jab cross and liver and the, the body, and you can use the liver and, and WKF, you know? So it's a little bit uh, confused for people that say, oh, this is karate. No, the traditional people use that, you know? So uh, it's a little bit more opening the, the people really understand that, that part. My, my take on the whole thing is like Karate Combat as a brand and like as, as its identity, I'd say it's more in the rule set and like the pit than than anything at, at least when it comes to engaging with new fans and so like i i understand kind of how we're we're gonna pivot to i think okay i'll put it i'm gonna put it like a bro okay i'm not gonna fucking talk like i'm smart or shit bro peep this it's like i think it's fucking dope we bring in 
Look, we we like karate. We obviously want karate people to be our champions, but if we bring a bare knuckle fighter in that uses our rule sets and beats one and becomes a champion, well, we better find fucking badass karate guy, <laughs> come back and win that back and validate it. And that could be a whole storyline and shit. You know, I I think it's like a proving ground for karate as opposed to necessarily just needing to be karate. Um, but I, you know, everyone has different takes, and we don't need to always just drive like from now on everyone. Just don't bring wrestlers. No fucking wrestlers. That's it. And I'm cool. <laughs> I don't want any of that shit. I just want striking. I want knockouts. I want some fun. That's it. If we keep it there, we keep it real. I'm happy. From someone that spends a lot of time in the community, I think the worry is is that people don't want karate combat to turn into like a BKFC model where you're just taking these like old retired legacy MMA fighters and just putting them in a karate gi. And they have no karate background. Like, I think those guys are are great. They should have opportunities in there. But I also kind of agree that like karate combat shouldn't get the label of a UFC retirement home. I think that that's already proven to not work. I think like it is sort of proven not to. It's sort of also proven to. And I I agree. I hope we don't have to do that because it's a it's not a very efficient way to grow a a sports league because it's super expensive. But um, it does work to get eyeballs on the league, right? Yeah. Like, and it works to get great distribution and sponsorships and all this stuff. Oh, completely agree. But it's it's a huge, huge expense, and um, and then also you're not really building, you're kind of renting success, right? And so yep. yeah. the goal with everything else we're doing, the pit, the rule set, the backgrounds, the Web three stuff, is to build, um is to build a league that uh, succeeds on its own without renting stars. Um, but, you know, it remains to be seen if we pull that off. And, um, yeah, and so, like, I hope it doesn't become that um, because I hope we succeed at this other stuff we're trying to do. But that doesn't actually mean, like, I have any problem with anyone that wants to come in and fight with our rule set because I think it sort of cheapens the... Um, in a way it sort of cheapens the accomplishments of people from karate backgrounds saying, Hey, you know, this guy wants to fight you, but we're not going to let him because he doesn't have a karate background. If he's going to come in and fight with our rules. Um, exactly. I mean, I, I have a feeling that's what, what Ross would say, for instance, like bring him the fuck on. Right. Like, uh, I mean, dude, you yeah, know, no, I'm completely, yeah. I'm, I'm Ross, completely... Ross would fight any motherfucker that <laughs> signed that fucking contract. Bro. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm completely on board with that. It's just, with my personal opinion, and like, the, and that's the great thing about karate combat is that like it is in the Dow that you can express these opinions and talk about what direction you yeah. want karate combat to go. Uh, I think again, being being open to other styles is great. If anyone, especially if they have a name and they want to compete in our yeah. style, it, that makes sense. But I always think that leaning into the karate aspect is always important i think it's a good brand i think it's good for branding it's good for history and storylines and all this stuff and um and we should honestly do it more even because there's a lot of colorful stuff that we can we can pull out of it and create um but yeah i just i'm just not down with like excluding anyone i i could see a place where maybe some some type of like grappler or boxer some sort of style comes in and is super dominant we need to tweak the rules a little bit you know to make sure that that doesn't happen no we're just not signing that motherfucker no (laughs) grappling bro (laughs) no i'm I'm completely completely down with not excluding anyone if if someone it's like how muay thai got its reputation uh for being one of the best striking styles is because they were open to anyone fighting in their rule set and saying, oh, you're the best striker, then come in my rule set and prove it. Yeah, And that's why they became one of the most dominant fighters. It's, uh, I think it's just like the idea of like MMA striking league. I think that's a good branding for people that don't really follow combat sports to, uh, to understand what karate combat is. Like yeah. if I know that someone's not a fight fan, I'm not going to go into detail to say it's basically MMA without grappling. Yeah. But within the fight fan community, I feel like bringing 
the karate aspect is also kind of important because like one Muay Thai, for example, tried to be more of that MMA striking thing. But when they actually started really embracing that Muay Thai, like identity, that's when it really started getting kicked off along with having a very entertaining Wait, on, on one. Yeah. Bro, that shit kicked off with Rod Tag beating the shit out of people with four ounce gloves, bro. That's where it went crazy. And then the Amazon deal. No, but like they were trying to have like, like for example, they were trying to do like uh, Sage North Cut versus uh, what's his name? Uh, one of the their Filipino champions. I'm forgetting his name right now. Uh, in one Muay Thai rule set, just so that it could be an MMA striking fight. But mm-hmm. people wanted to see the best strikers not competing in this rule set that ha- are training for this rule set so I'll, i guess i'll take a, a vote between you guys so what do you so what do you guys think about the rebrand vote going on um so there's going to be a vote going around to change the name of karate combat to kickboxing karate ultimate combat bare knuckle <laughs> 5000 <laughs> i'm just fucking with you mac uh you know what if this play you know I'll be I think, optimistic. I think it's a good, I think if we turn a into a retirement discussion. home, if we turn into a UFC retirement home, at least we're not letting them fucking wrestle, bro. They're going to fight. We've watched this a thousand times. The old guys go to Bellator and they just hug for like three rounds till one of them gasses out. At least we're making these guys punch each other. I'll Definitely. say that. And you know what? Side. And you know what? There's a bunch of people watching this right now. You've heard from each of us like what our thoughts are. On this topic, this is a very controversial topic, a lot of different opinions on this. Everyone write in the comments, either after this stream is done or after this video is done or right now, write what you think about this topic, what direction you think Karate Combat should be going. You can plug it like this. Talk shit to us in the Twitter comments, bro. Come at us, dog. Let us know. There we go. Max, you wrap it up like that. There we go. <laughs> okay. I, I think we've kept Omira long enough. No, and that watch. moment I said, yes, because it's free to make your opinion. You know? <laughs> I hope I hope we're at least mildly entertaining. I hope this is like at least not a boring interview. No. I don't even know. Would we call it an interview? We're kind of just chatting. We talked yeah. about the fucking moon landing. No, you're talking about my, <laughs> my favorite part. It's martial arts, so you're saying listen. So I okay, so as long as. It's confuses, you know, so many people, the uh, professional and different styles and staying in these rules. So, yeah, it's, it's good that people have opinion. And uh, and I'm very open when people, you know, t- tell me, hey, this is karate. I ask at a test to say, yes, this is karate. And I don't, I don't take it personal, you know, because it's, it's better that you be open and understand. <laughs> but no, no person. I always this is not good. <laughs> Absolutely, um, guys. I'm so I'm out of Bud Light. I need to go crash me another one, <laughs> and we got to go watch some fights. Oh, you got that's healthy stuff. You get ready for a fight. Yeah. I'm See, getting ready. Is, Ma- I'm getting ready Mac, to watch Mac always goes over an hour with these things, but there's fights going on right now, so. 45 minutes it is. It's, it's that I ran out of the beers, bro. That's that's the problem. What's that different? Yeah. So okay, uh, let's leave it. Let's leave it with this. Um, real quick, only LARPing. You got anything else? No, uh, not really. Any announcements. This was. A good I want to. I want to hear. I want to hear who Myra thinks is going to win. A couple of the other fights on the card. Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. What is if so on the fight card? KC43. What other fights on the card are you kind of like, since you're a fan of combat sports, like you were saying, who are you excited about? What fights and who do you think wins? Uh, like, who wins in this card? Yeah. You know, I mean, like, so, yeah, out of, like, the card you're on, besides your fight, obviously, which ones are you excited for? Oh, I want to see the the fight, the, um, the turbo with the, um, with the other guy for the heavyweight. Mm-hmm. Very good fight. Yeah. Um, the Anderson with the all the uh, yeah, sorry, Ross. Yeah, so Ross <laughs> Alvey. We got Ross Alvey. We got Pettis <laughs> Anderson. Okay. Yeah, need one second. Yeah. No, um, it's funny because when we asked you earlier about fighters, you were like, uh, "I know John Jones, but I like Amanda Nunez. You like women <laughs> fighters. We know that now. That's dope. Yeah, That's cool. yeah any woman, and but no, who support the the girls. But but yes, I feel they they have very good. Good cars, a lot of good fighters. Um, 
uh, living it with uh, uh, with uh, Albe. This is tough fight. I'm really excited for watching that one. Um, I know Daniel had a very nice fight with uh, last time with Agayev, and, and I don't know too much the other guy, and I never uh, know see too much fights with him. But you never know what happened with the or the opponent, what he training, what his uh, strategy. Uh, I have one guy from Venezuela. He's, uh, the name is Da Pulga. He fight with, uh, um, the name is e e Berly. Uh, I don't know how I mentioned the name. Elijah Ever. Uh -huh. He fight with the, the Venezuela um, a guy from Venezuela, uh, Javier Atriaga. And I know him when he had eight years in the national team, and now uh, I'm very excited when I see him the last season with the contract. So, uh, yeah, the Kumite. He was a finalist in the Kumite. Yeah. Um, I have the guy they're from Venezuela, Diaz. He fought me too. And yeah, it's a lot of, lot, of, lot of good fighters. I see Mashida. He's the, the, the brother or the. Yeah, uh, brother. Yeah, brother. So I'm um, very fan the, the the his brother. So <laughs> I see him. I it would be it would be it would be funny as hell if we were just like, no, that's he's just we found a guy that has the last name of Cheetah and kind of looks like him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, anyway, you know, going, it's yeah. nice the the family Mashida is in the, the professional fight and the the um, the rest of uh, the main car no no main car but is the. The Anderson, Henderson and, and Perry, so two professional mm -hmm. fighters. A uh, lot of people know that the fighters. So I, after my fight, I want to, everything happen. I want to have the opportunity maybe to watch. <laughs> I will make sure that happens for sure. Do you know it would be hilarious? Okay, it's, it's very, it's very fucking obvious. He's going to try probably to do the Showtime kick, right? Yeah. You should do it first. Steal it. You should just do it first. That would be so funny. You just get up first and... <laughs> If you land a Showtime kit before Pettis, he's going to be in the back like, what the fuck? That's my move, bro. It's not even going to be cool now. Like, you should try to hit it. But also, don't take my advice. I am not a MMA coach. So, But but you know what? That would be amazing for Omaira because then she'd have two of the most famous moments in MMA history in the pit because she's already had her Don Fry Takayama moment. Oh, in God. Yeah. Yeah, so if she hits a Showtime kick, I've it's just like Almira is just like basically just doing side quests to achieve all the most viral MMA moments in uh, in the karate combat. Holy shit! I forgot about the Dom Fry. You really <laughs> did do that, Almira. What the fuck? <laughs> you you got that? that dog that's why you. everyone should be uh, tuning in to watch Almira's fight because like. Melinda Fabian, she's a fighter that like she goes forward. She's a very aggressive fighter. But Omaira Molina, even though she fights more of that traditional blitz style, she's not afraid to fight in that pocket. The La Guerrera, the warrior, she proves it in the pit too. She is not afraid. She is going to give it as much as uh, Melinda is giving it in the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Thank you, man. Don't talk shit, you know? <laughs> Back it up. She's all about that shit. And that's why you should tune in, like Max said. We're going to wrap it up there so we can all go. You can drink your protein shake. Um, I'll drink some more Bud Lights responsibly. All that <laughs> I'm stuff. I'm going to drink some Coquito. I keep <laughs> screenshotting. What the fuck are you doing, Only LARPing? <laughs> Me? Like, er, yeah, look at your... Dude, earlier your alien was like this, and I screenshotted it. And I was like, the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh, my goodness. Your arm's broken. Okay, I'm, anyway, I'm yeah, we're shutting I'm this. fine. I'll, I'll send you the fucking <laughs> screenshot. It's hilarious. You look broken for a second. I think he might have died. I think he might have died. <laughs> All right. This was a fun one. This was a fun, fun. one. Well, and, you know, so you're right here. Well, we'll have you back on, you know, if you become champion, which, well, I mean, I'm allowed to pick. Yeah, I think you're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Me too, me too. My tokens are on you. Yeah. So you heard it here first. Omira Molina just said, "Bet on it." Second round, Showtime kick knockout. She said it herself. <laughs> <laughs> no, she definitely said it. I heard you it. Heard that right here. You, yeah. Could you imagine if that was a functionality of the app that, like, if you you could vote on exactly what technique 
uh, they're going to win by, and you get like a huge token bonus if you predict it. I would love to like bet on disqualification by dick kick. <laughs> <laughs> I would bet King, that on every fight. Mac Malley, King Getty. That's the that's the that's literally the term for a groin kick in karate. King Getty. Mac was oh, Mac Tyson was mine. arguing that we should legalize them. <laughs> that's a joke. No, is that joke? real? That's real. No, you no. want to fucking you want to make the dick twist fucking no legal? no no I was no I was already, no I was just making the statement that like a lot of people always talk about like uh, oh kicking in the groin is so easily but no like in the blood and guts era of point fighting in the U S like the Kempo stylists were known for their groin kicks they weren't known for kicking high. But here's the thing it is, even though they were the best groin kickers, they were also <laughs> the best That's at the defense. funniest term kickers. I've ever heard. Bro, they were the best groin kickers. Like, these yeah. guys could touch dong, bro. Like, they will <laughs> hit you. They're going to kick you in the dick, bro. <laughs> what? All right, we gotta, let's save that story for next time because that sounds like something I want to get the fuck into. I told them to put a proposal. <laughs> let's take a vote about it. Fuck it. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll make the proposal and vote. I'll probably vote against it, but let's get the discussion going. <laughs> oh, let's you throw some crazy going. shit like that up. I'm voting yes, bro. Fuck it. Let's get the discussion going, at least. We just did. Now, that's why we're going to pick it up again next week. You're going to explain this where you get okay. heavy into. Write in the comments if you want to see Kim Getty, the kick to the golden balls, legal in uh, in karate combat. Karate cock. Oh, I'm just checking that. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's actually. That, that's, I believe that's actually the literal translation, kick to the golden ball. Send me the, 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 the technique and I can check. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, no. she's going to study it now. She's already prepping. It, it's a great self, it's a great self-defense kick. It's a great self-defense kick. Yeah. I've just, I've just never been in a fight and my immediate thought was to go for their balls. But I mean, I understand. It's, if it's I was considered, it's a dirty movie. Yeah. If you're down, I mean. I mean, sounds like a skill issue, bro. Yeah. Don't let it get down. Knock yeah. him out on the feet. Walk away, you know. But traditional karate, it's a very, like, it's just a bunch of fighting dirty tactics. That's well, what traditional karate is. Consistent. I was going to start doing, taking a karate class, and I think I've changed my mind now. You do karate? You do any karate? No, no. No, no I'm actually. Okay. One day, one uh, day. Yeah. I have one yeah. class. <laughs> my dad did karate, but. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, tra- I trained in Go Judo for like 12, 15 years. Oh, I played baseball my whole life, so. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up there because we took up, what, an hour and a half? We always do this. We always do this. Go watch, you know, <laughs> Veronica win. She's always fun to watch uh, fight. And then make sure you tune in on the fights two weeks' time. I mean, what, two weeks? Yeah, two weeks, December 15th, Las Vegas. Omira Molina, it was a pleasure having you on. Only LARPing, Mac Tyson. We'll see all you guys in Vegas here here shortly. And don't forget, because someone already told me on Twitter, bro, what the fuck is going to be cold in Vegas? I was watching this. Yeah. So bring your jackets, boys. And be girls. prepared. Bring, yeah, be prepared. Bring your jackets. Thank you. Guys. you for oh, my advice. Go time. We out of here. Oh.